Hi friends, welcome to the BFM 10 minute show. Today's session will be very important for you from Forex point of view. Why? Because today I'll be taking Incoterms 2020. Incoterms 2020 are the latest Incoterms which are used in international trade. Now Incoterms are related to what? Basically Incoterms means who carries what risk. Basically risk distribution. Now to give you the brief details of BFM 10 minutes, we cover only one topic in 10 minutes. That also not more than 10 minutes. You mark the watch now, not more than 10 minutes. Okay. So share this video with your friends, like this video, share it, uh, like this channel, subscribe to the channel. Let's move ahead without wasting the time. See this in good terms. Transfer of risk from seller to buyer. Basic rule. Transfer of risk. Okay. Incoterms means what? I will do this, you will do that. Simple. I will manufacture the goods, you take it from me. Incoterm, one incoterm. I will manufacture the goods and provide it at your place, deliver at your place. Another incoterm. Incoterm means that only. Risk, here and there. Who will carry what risk up to what place? Okay. Let's see, isn't it? First one. See, there are total 11 income terms. 11. Okay. First one is XWorks. What is XWorks? I'll give you in details. I'll give you the whole slide. Who carries what risk? You can pause the video at that time and take a snapshot and keep it in your room. Wherever you want. Okay. So, XWorks. First income terms. XWorks means what? I'll manufacture the good at my factory place and you take it from here. So, which is the best income term for the seller? The best income term for the seller is this. In terms of risk. Zero risk. I'll just manufacture it over here. And you take it from here. So, x is the best income term for the seller. Okay. Second income term comes is a bit higher. Now, now what happens? They try to negotiate. This is a buyer. This is a seller. Okay. They will negotiate with each other. Buyer will say, no, 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 no. I won't take it from here. What do you do? You bring that goods, whatever goods are there, bring it from here and put it on the ship. On this ship. Put it on this ship. So now there are four income terms over here. See, X works. Then comes here. The seller will bring the goods to the port and put it near the ship. Near the ship. Not on the ship. Near the ship. Okay, so he will pay the custom charges also over here in this on the seller side, custom side, exporter side, custom charges he will pay, but he will not put the goods on the ship. Okay, he will just put it on the sides. Now, from here, once he has put it over here, his job is over. I have put it over here, my job is over. Now, tomorrow, if these goods get burnt over here, I don't care. My job is to put it over here. So that is FAS, free alongside ship. Free alongside ship. Do you want me to write this? See this, FAS. But I'll, uh, later I will remove this. Huh? Free alongside ship. Alongside ship. Okay, free alongside ship. Okay. Next. This buyer and seller again negotiate. No, 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 no. What do you do? You take the goods from here also, bring the goods and put it in the ship. In this ship. Just put it over there. In the ship. Okay. That is called as board. On board. So, this, this input term is called as FOB. Free on board. This is the most important input term. This is the most important input term. Most important one. Okay. Why? Because all our pre-shipment finance is given on FOB. Kindly note. Throughout our country, Bharat, pre-shipment finance is given on FOB. Very important input term. You will get many questions on FOB also. Okay. Then, next one is after FOB comes CFR. Cost and freight means what? This they will negotiate that. See, you put the income, you put the goods over here and buy the 
logistic cost also of this ship means the ticket of that ship costing by that also so that is cfr okay then one more income comes they will say that okay cif cfr means okay cfr means what cost and freight should i write it over here on this side i'll write it cost and freight okay freight got it cost and freight then comes cif input term in cif what happens cost insurance and freight so you will add insurance over here insurance so that becomes cif means what the manufacturing cost is also on the account of exporter insurance is on the account of exporter freight is on the account of exporter everything is on, on all these are, are on the account of export so cost insurance and freight so these are how many income terms gone now x box 1 2 3 4 5 5 are gone 11 are there total now these were of ship now suppose if i don't send the goods through ship i send it through let's say air or road or anything at that time what do you do at that time we use these income terms one is FCA, free carrier. Now these are all road and other than ship. I won't say road because it can be used in air also, it can be used in anything. Other than ship. So first is free carrier. Now free carrier means what? This is same as FOB. Equals to FOB. Free carrier equals to FOB. FOB is for ship, free carrier is for land or, let's say land right now, land or air. Okay. So here what happens, same logic, the seller will put the goods in this truck and over, his job is over. Tomorrow if the truck meets with an accident, seller is not concerned, the concern is of the buyer. CPT, carriage paid to, okay, okay, should I write this, FCA, free carrier, free carrier, FCA, okay, CPT, cost paid to. Uh, sorry, carriage paid to, carriage paid to, paid to, CPT. So, this is similar to your CFR, CFR, cost and freight, okay, CPT, it's similar to your CFR. The next, CIP, cost and insurance paid. So, this is similar to your CIF, your CIF. Here, manufacturing cost is paid by the seller, the transportation cost is paid by the seller, and the insurance cost is also paid by the seller. 5 plus 3, 8. Now, 3 remain. Right? Now comes D in quotum. See, F, C, and D. D in quotum now. Now, D in quotum are of again th uh, 3 types. See this. DAP. Okay? Then DAT, delivery at terminal. Now this is gone. DAT is gone now. It's not there. DAP, DDP. Okay. Delivery at place. Delivery, delivery at uh, DDP. Delivery duty paid. Okay. And one more is there. That is DDU. That is not mentioned over here. That is delivery duty unpaid. Now DAP means what? DAP means... I'll tell you to um, put the goods, means send the goods to my go down number one. I'm the buyer. I'm telling the seller to send the goods to my go down number one. Whatever place I say. So that is DAP. Now in DAP, the customs duty on the buyer side is not paid by the seller. Not paid. Okay. Of course, if the agreement is there and they agree, then it's okay. But generally, it's not paid. DDU means what? Delivery duty unpaid. The seller will bring the goods from here through the ship and on the customs place of the buyer, importer. But he will not clear the customs. He will not clear the customs in DDU. Okay. And last one is DDP, delivery duty paid. Here the seller will bring the goods pay both the customs, this side also, that side also, pay the transport charges, pay all this insurance, send the goods to the deliver, to the place of this buyer, whatever is the office of this buyer. So that is DDP. 
so total 11 inqua terms right so these are the 11 inqua terms got it now 10 minutes are over but let me show you this thing you can take this slide okay seller duty ship other seller duty pre on board fob equals to fca this is what i have just now told you same thing is repeated over here okay dat is now gone so it is dap now delivery at place okay dat is gone so ddp ddp is there fas free alongside ship that is there one more slide this is the main slide you can take the printout of this i'll just shift myself okay pause the video take the screenshot okay and keep it with you here all the responsibilities are given who will do what these are the same ones which i told you nothing no change okay so that was it about bfm 10 minutes for today and before going don't forget to join the batches there okay Go to Adder 24-7, always purchase through the app. Don't forget, purchase through the app, okay? Because in the app, you're getting 1% extra, okay? So purchase through the app and join the batches. See, now the revision batches are starting, okay? Revision batches are starting, we have crash courses going on. Join the revision batches, okay? See, the CIB crash course is going on, this. Join this crash course in detailed details, detailed. All the subjects are covered. Join the MSF. Okay. Ebooks, mock tests, online live classes, recorded videos of this, live also and recorded also. So join it SF. And never forget the code. Use the code Y432. Okay. Y432. Click on enter. Okay. So isn't it? 1% extra through the app. So don't forget that. So that was it. And bye.